Hey yeah, it's me Donna. I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're somebody who's been a before, come back. Welcome to you. Thank you for coming back. Today, it's a um, vintage haul, a vintage, vintage dress haul video, because um, yeah, I've become a vintage addict because everything's so cheap. Because everything's so cheap on there. Because um, everyone sells stuff cheap because there's no fees. So uh, yeah, you get some proper good bargains. Um, I'm not sure if I've already shown this dress, but this is um, a Dorothy Perkins dress. I don't know if you can see it. It's like just over the knees. And I think this one cost me about a fiver. I'll put it on the screen if the, the picture's still on the website, the app. I'll put it on the screen, but I don't think I paid more than a fiver. But anyway, um, I've wrote it down. Um, you can see a bit of red on my nose where I have my glasses on because I can't wear my contacts at the moment because I had a sty. Never had styes before, but the past year I've had two styes in that eye and this one's finally gone down. It was red, but I've just got a little dot on my eye. So um, if you can see a little dot on my eye, it's a sty. So uh, I've got to buy one of them heated things. I've been using flannels. I know this is a haul video, but um, anyone who's got a style will know what bloody pain in the arse they are because they sting. They're like a stingy pain and you have to um, get your flannel, put it in hot water, make it nice and warm, hold it on your eye. Two seconds later, it gets cold again, so you have to get another one. And um, yeah, so it stings and they look like a cyclops. So um, I've got no makeup on my eyes at all today. <laughs> but it's pissing me off if I'm honest. I don't know what's different. I do know now that I've got dry eyes, whether that's causing it. Anyway, so I've got four dresses, right? And they're all brand new with tags. And if I'd paid for them in the shop full price, it would have been 100, I'm trying to see without my contacts on, £124.49. But altogether, including postage, I paid £22.47, which I think is a bargain of the century. So, um, I'll get them. If you've never been on Vintage, you want to try it. I'm going to start putting some of my clothes on Vintage as well. I keep saying that. <laughs> we'll leave a link below to my Vintage page. I think I've got all the four items on there at the moment. But um, I'm just buying loads. But I've got to show you this, right? This isn't from Vintage. It's from the charity shop yesterday. But I'm so pleased with it. I wanted to show you a handbag. And apparently it would have cost... About £29, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't see it, but, hang on, you can see there what it was originally, and then it went down to £20, and I got it for, was it, £4.95, and I got hair in my mouth from um, Age UK and Rubri, so this is going to be new, my new favourite bag now, so my green bag that I've had for years that I use all the time, it, that was a leather one that was from the charity shop it's um gonna go into retirement and uh, i think i'll be using this for a while because i really like it look i can put my phone in there it's got a nice big zip <laughs> with a little tally thing on anyway yeah um i just wanted to show you my new bag because i really like it hang on <laughs> my new bag five pounds anyway i'll show you the dresses Go and get them, hang on. The first dress is this Marks and Spencer's one, look. And originally, £49.50. Um, it looks like it's got some weird stain in there. That might be where I've steamed it. Because it was um, a bit creased. Because I noticed <laughs> when you buy stuff from just normal people, I've had stuff come in carrier bags, black bags, paper envelopes, which is like... Why would you put something in a paper envelope? So, of course, when I've gone to pick it up from the shop, you know, half of it's hanging out. But I'm not moaning because it's super cheap. Anyway, um, yeah, so this dress, it's a little bit... Um, I haven't tried anything on, however, so I'm hoping they all think it's a little bit shapeless. But I don't mind because in the winter, I wear my coat over the top anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And like it says, I wear it with my black tights. So, um, you know what I bought the other day? And I didn't realise because I, I bought these thinking they were tights and, it, and another pair. 
and another pair but all nice and warm the fact that the leggings so the leggings are not tight but anyway <laughs> I, I could wear them under my trousers, can't I? Because I still do wear jeans. But um, this blue dress, I don't think it's even lined. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> but yeah, scrap that. It's not lined. But it looks nice, doesn't it? I prefer this sort of length sleeve or longer, but oh, so I'm going to have my coat over it. So this costs me, right, £3.50, and then you have to pay by it. This is how... Vintage don't charge people fees because the buyer has to pay a protection fee. So it come to um, four pound thirty eight by a protection fee. Total altogether was five pound sixty two. If I'm wrong, don't shoot me. Because <laughs> um, I wrote this down the other day. Yeah, three pound fifty. So where's the postage then? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, three pound fifty. £4.38, so I pay £4.38 for this, and with the postage it comes to £5.62, which I think is a proper bargain for a dress that's worth £49.50, and it's M&S, so um, fingers crossed it fits, it should do, so sorry, oh it's a 12, it might not fit, but hang on, we'll give it a go, it's a bit snug, um, <laughs> there's no movement at all around the arms, it's got the, the good thing about it though is I don't know if you can oh, can you see? Oh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, where it's got the zip, it's got a piece of material to help you pull it up. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's uh, it's a little bit tight. I'll show you. Lengthwise, it's not a bad length. Um, there's no movement. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I think I might keep it now because um, after Christmas, what's that dangling? That's my hair. That's one of the, uh, you know, the hook things they put on so you can hang it up. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not much give in this, so um, I, I don't know. From time to time, I get emails from um, people saying, would you like to try this in exchange for a video? And um, most of the time I say, yeah, because I love freebies, don't I? Well, this company contacted me a while ago and says, do you want one of these items? So I had a look on the website and I thought, it's, it's not really me, if I'm honest, but I'll have it because it's free, in it? <laughs> so then nothing arrived. A couple of weeks went by and nothing arrived. So I thought, I don't want her to think that I've had the item and not bothered to do the video. So I sent him a message to say, um, did you post this item? Because um, I haven't had it. So they says, okay, we'll send, you, we'll send you one. So whether they forgot or whether somebody nicked it because uh, the Amazon man just left it on my doorstep. So uh, I'll show you what it is. Um, I'm not taking the piss. I know it's going to sound like I'm taking the piss, but the, I'm just not this type of person. I ain't even got it out the box. I just got the box. So the box is that big, right? It's an item of clothing. I'll show you what it is. See what you think, right? Can you tell what it is yet? It, sorry. <laughs> I can't delete that page. Uh, right, okay. I don't know if this is a thing nowadays. Hang on, I'll try and get it out. I haven't even tried it on, so whether it'll fit. I don't know. Right, and here's a cowgirl hat. I've never tried a cowgirl hat. Oh, hang on, that comes off, so you can take the little belty bit off. So, right, okay. Let's see what it looks like then. So, um, oh, it feels like it's going to fall off. Maybe my head's too big. So, uh, does the dress look better with the hat on? Should I put my hair? I think my head's too big. Oh, hang on, I think I had it on backwards. It's got a little label in, so let's try it that way. Right, so I move my hair out the way. Can you see? 
I'm going to put this out properly. Just be up a bit. What do you think? Um, I'm not a hat person, am I? I haven't got the right shape head for hats, but people do wear them. I did Google it and look on YouTube. Um, people were actually talking about hats. So uh, I'm going to try each dress on with the hat because I've given it me. Oh, hang on, it feels a bit better now. I think it was just, I'm used to woolly hats that I buy and never wear as well. So um, anyway, I just stand on my stool. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll put the link below if you want a hat like this, if you've got a better shape head than me. Uh, thumbs up. A new look dress. It's a nice colour, it's like bottle green and this would have originally cost £22.99 I like the style, it might be a bit short but it's got long sleeves I'm not too keen on the elastic bit but it's quite big so I don't think it'll like you know when you get elastic that digs in, you know like your socks when you take your socks off and you've got a groove around your uh, ankles I don't think that's going to be like this. So this one cost me, this was £2 with bioprotection fee, £2.80. Postage come to £5.09p. It's very thin. It's not a thick dress. So I think if I'm wearing it out, I'll probably have to wear something underneath. I did see them yesterday in Tesco's and I didn't get them. Like um, thermal vests. I was looking at them, I was ifing them but in the boat whether to buy them and now I'm thinking when I go back I might buy some thermal vests to go with my thermal leggings. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll try it on, see how it looks. I do like this but um, I don't know if I'm too old. Is this a young girl's? Because New Look is a, a young girl's shop in it. So um, it's just above the knees. Me belt, put your belt on, put your bow. Sleeves are all right, they're not digging at all. It's quite a flattering fit, I think. <laughs> Doesn't show the belly, does it? Because the elasticated bit there, oh, hang on, sort the belt out. Do I need to, I think I need to go, hang on, shove the belt there. I quite like it. It's all right. I think this is more summery, but um, I, I don't mind about that. I'll wear it any time when I because that's I got my coat on. I love the colour. This is definitely a Christmas colour, isn't it? So um, let's do the hat test then. I've got me hat. Okay. So <laughs> actually, that does look a bit cowgirlish, doesn't it? <laughs> So, um, hat off. Oh, yeah. the bitch fell off. So, dress with hat off. Hat on. <laughs> I'm going to wear it. I can't even give it me. <laughs> As I said, the link will be below you if you want one of these hats. Anyway, okay. I like um I like the dress but I'm not sure if I'm too old for it. A Dorothy Perkins dress look and it's got really long sleeves. When I first got it out I thought this was somebody had sewed it wrong but look it's like a gabbery and look it's that soft very Christmassy material I can't think what it's called it's like velvet I don't know, I just know, hang on, move me back out the way. I've got my bag there, I don't want to <laughs> crush it. So, this cost me altogether £6.14 and it would have cost, if you bought it new, 30 quid. So, um, I was really chuffed. I'm chuffed with all my stuff, like I say. You, you would have seen me, be, me ones before, where I try them on, because as you know, I'll show the dress, try it on, show it, try it on. So, um, yeah, I love this material. I remember I had some uh, tracksuit buttons I think I got from um, Sports Direct once. 
there were like this material stuff not for exercising just for like dusting around the house and then i was doing some decorating and i got paint on them so there i ain't got them anymore <laughs> that's something i need to look for on there vintage in it whatever this material is called velour i think it's called velour velour tracksuit bottoms for dusting around the house so um let's see if this fits this dress feels gorgeous on um I don't know what it looks like from a distance but it's got like they're not like shoulder pads it's like some puffiness on the arms but it's just so soft this stuff just feels lovely um I'll show you what on the stall it's a nice length well ish <laughs> but um it just feels so nice really like it but i think it's definitely it's not a casual dress is it i think you've got to go somewhere to wear this because it feels like a going out type dress i do like it it's not because of the ruffliness there i think it seems to hide the bumps so that's always a bonus so um, i'm going to do the hat test which is the same color so let's see if uh, what it looks like I got my hat on. Line dancing. People who line dance wear hats, don't they? So I'm going to move this stool out of the way. So um, <laughs> got my hat on again. I don't know how you'd stop this falling off your head. Because it's a little bit. I think if you did do line dancing. I think it would fall off if you move it would fall off you might have to put a bit of string around your neck and um, around your chin so, anyway is this dress number three <laughs> okay a super bright orange dress and this is like um weavy type material you know um waffly waffly type material i have actually already got an orange dress but that one's got short sleeves so this one cost me altogether five pounds 62 and this would have been 22 pounds um to you sainsbury's yeah sainsbury's so um, i like it it's really <laughs> it is super bright but um i think i'd have to turn this down with a black coat with the other ones I'd wear with my bright coats. So I've got two orange dresses now. This is bloody horrible. It's too tight. It's too tight. And this bit here shows lumpy bits even worse. And then it's a weird shape as well. Look. <laughs> oh, I thought this would be nice and my maybe if you got if i breathe in or even that shows up all your butt i'm breathing in that's probably my tights there my tights. <laughs> yeah i don't like it um i'm gonna put it on to a uh, vintage to resale but um anyway see if the hat can save it right any better with the hat on any better hang on <laughs> breathe in I don't know where I don't know any cowgirl poses. How do um anyway <laughs> I'll give it a thumbs up but it's a thumbs down really because um it's horrible. My other orange dress is much nicer than this. I'm sure that was a TU one as well. TU No, I don't like it. No, this is um no, it's a definite no. So that was all my haul. Um, apart from this dress, I'm definitely going to put this back on. Um, a <laughs> little itchy bit on my head then. Um, yeah, my whole video, thank you all for watching. My next video, at some point, um, somebody gifted me this as well. To look in my ears. I didn't know people wanted to look in your ears, but um, apparently this is a thing as well. You can actually put it in your ear i'm gonna to have to do a bit of research first before i just go poking around you uh, put it in your ear and there's a little screen and you can see all your earwax um 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've only ever used cotton buds, which I know you're not supposed to use, are you? But um, so uh, thank you all for watching. You are awesome. <laughs> and I'm keeping this hat. I don't know when and where I'll use it, but I like it. It's um, a little bit loose. So I, can... <laughs> um, I don't know whether you could put some Velcro or something inside. Yeah, maybe if you stick some Velcro, that might stick to your head a bit more, mightn't it? But um, <laughs> you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Donna the Brummy. I only put memes on. I could do a charity shop haul as well. I've got loads of clothes. I don't know how to do that now, but I'm really hungry. So um, I'm trying to think of a cowboy saying for goodbye, not howdy. Um, so long? Do they say so long? They get like I don't know. So long, partner. Okay, and we get the guns out and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going. All right, bye. Just notice, right, when I went to put the hat back in the box that you've got this, right, with Velcro on that you put on there so it'll fit on your head better so, um, <laughs> so yeah you don't need no string or anything because it's it's already adjustable so, um, <laughs> so yeah so if you've got a small head or a big head i don't know um that should help fit better so uh, i should have looked really first but never mind